What's up guys welcome to very first development tutorial of Android applications development. In this tutorial I will teach you how to make a simple app which says hello world. This is one and only Shrek's from Smartheart. Now let's open our Eclipse. Let's click on Eclipse. Right now here again you have to provide the part of your workspace. I will create a new path. Right just click on OK then again hit OK. We get a welcome message. Click on close. Now to make a new project you just have to go where. Just click on file. Then hit new. Then after that you can see Java project is there and Android application project is there. Now this is our destiny. Just click on this. Right. A new window will open. It will ask for the application name. Let's say first app. Right. Now, now this is the project name. You can name as per your wish. No cross. Now this is the package name. We can give it a name smarter.shrix. Right. Now guys make a note of one thing. This package name should be unique. Like a website domain name is unique. Your package name should not collide with any other package of any other app in the Play Store. Because when you are going to launch your app in the Play Store then this will act like your domain name which will provide a link to your app in the Play Store. So please make a note of this. This always should be unique. Now. Here few stuffs are there like minimum required SDK. This should be actually 2.2 for you. Then target SDK make it the latest one then hit on next. Again next. Don't bother about all these stuffs hit on next. Blank activity right. Just hit on next. Right here you can see activity name main activity is there. It is all a predefined name you can name as per your wish. This is actually your Java class. This is actually the UI components, these two layouts, activity main and fragment main. These are actually user defined layouts. You can name this also as per your wish. The navigation type, keep it none right now. Hit finish. Now, here you can see the two folders are created here the app convert v7 and our first app. Don't bother about this app convert v7, it is a higher level concept which I am going to teach you later. Now, just click open this first app. Here you can see loads of folders are there. One by one I am going to teach you all the stuffs. Inside the source you will find a Java class. Now this Java class just hit open this. Now by default Eclipse create awesome Java codes for us. Now maybe you are not getting the stuffs right here what the codes are written here. No need to worry about it. Now guys if you are not getting this action bar activity here then please update your ADT plugin. You can update your ADT plugin by going to help, check for updates, click on it. If the updates are available, it will show the updates here. My ADT was already updated as we installed in the first two tutorials. So node updates were found. Click OK. Right. I'm telling you guys to update the plugin just because the Google has just change the ADT. The latest ADT has many features so I am going to make my applications with all new latest features that Google has given us in the ADT plugin. Now here I would like you to make some changes. Now we don't require this statement. Just delete this. Why I am doing this because all these stuffs like this function, this function I am going to discuss not right now because it is going to give you a big trouble or confusion just delete this function also right now again delete this function now placeholder class again delete this now finally we are left with this main activity extends action bar activity now you just have to as of now deal with this any other codes just erase that now if you move down you can see bins folder is there library folder is there now the most important is the resource folder. This resource folder actually contains all the stuffs such as UI contents, images of the applications, background images or music, whatever. Apart from codes of the main activity, whatever are the extra stuffs are stored in the resource folder. In the driver folder we store images, in the layout folder we actually store what? We actually store our looks and feels of how our app will look. As of now our app will look like this. Just double click on this fragment underscore main. It will show the looks and feel of your app. By default Eclipse has created a SWOT hello world. This will appear in our application if we run it. Now we have another XML guys. Activity underscore main. It is actually blank. 
now guys here I would like you to do one thing just click on this fragment then go to fragment main dot xml right here you can see some codes just copy all these things control C and click this activity underscore main dot xml then go to your coding part here is the graphical layout which we can see here and here is the coding stuff just go here and replace this codes with the codes of the fragment underscore main dot xml right now what I want you to do is just delete this fragment underscore main dot xml because fragments are the higher level concepts and I used to make applications for the tablets not for smartphones for making apps for the tablets I will I will teach you later on in the downline tutorials so as of now we have to deal with this main activity and active net scroll mail is in main activity I'm having some error let's see no let's save it yeah right now one more thing guys I would like to show you in this tutorial just click on this values folder you will see three XML files are there now just open the string.xml right you will get some codes and you will see few string values are there now just go to this activity underscore main dot XML here you will see a text view now inside the text view here you can see a statement at the rate string slash hello world this statement is actually responsible to print the hello world in your app this at the rate string is indicating this this string in the string.xml so when this statement is executed then this value inside the strings.xml is called so hello underscore world refers to what hello world and exclamation so now go to this active underscore main.xml now here you can see two tabs this is your code part now this is the layout your appearance of your app here you can see hello world exclamation you can see here this is how we are able to access the data hello world in our app whatever codes you are watching here in mainactivity.java then this xml file or the string.xml all these codes are very very simple i will explain you each and everything at present you won't be getting what these codes are what these codes stand for just don't worry guys I will make it very very simple in the next few tutorials you will understand each and everything that is written here now all these folders and this Java file and XML file what this stand for this values folders menu folder all these stuffs I am going to talk about in the next tutorial so catch you guys in next tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe this is Shrakes from Smarthood signing off